Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I'm gonna to smoke some beef short ribs on the pit barrel cooker. The ribs that we got came from Matador Meat and Wine. If you go to matadorprimesteak.com, they've got some great products. They're super uh, nice folks, um, great customer service. So guys, let's go ahead and get started on these ribs. Here are the ribs. These basically came whole and the reason why they're, they're usually called um, beef short ribs is they usually just cut them in a half across here, but they sent to me um, these whole. So let's go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I've picked this up from T. Roy Cooks and he uses Worcestershire sauce. So I'm gonna do that today. It's the first time I've tried this. And be sure to go there if you haven't seen his channel He's a great guy, um, got a lot of cool stuff on his channel. Put a little bit on the back. I've already removed the membrane. Okay, we've got the ribs seasoned up. We're gonna let these sit out, kind of get a little bit room temperature while we're getting the pit barrel up to 10. We are ready to roll here. Just to kind of recap, we filled the basket up, took about 40 coals out. Uh, and lit those, let those burn for about 15 minutes and we dump those in there with a couple pieces of pecan and let that burn for about 20 minutes. We're going to take our rebarb out. Pit Barrel offers a hinged grate so and that way you could, you know, if you wanted to put some potatoes or some other uh, meats here, you can do that while you, you got something hanging. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this kind of as a, um, like a shelf. So later when I take the ribs out, I'm gonna kind of lay them right here and um, put our barbecue sauce on it. So let's put these rebar back in here. We'll hang our ribs right in here. I'm just gonna leave this up for now. And we're gonna come back, check on these, probably about a couple hours. All right, we're gonna check on these. We're about two hours in, two and a half hours in, using my Maverick Instant Read. About 146, it's, they're cooking kind of fast. 149, it's gonna be a little done at the bottom here. And 149, so we're definitely in that 145 range. So we're gonna keep an eye on these for a little bit longer. When we get to be around 175, I'm gonna baste them, leave them where about 30 more minutes, let that Barbecue sauce kind of caramelize up, and then we'll give them a try. All right, these are right around, just check them, they're right around 175. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take these off. And I'm going to lay this on the hinged grate here. I'm just going to lay them right here. We're going to be using today Beard BQ Spicy Blend Barbecue Sauce. It's built with bourbon made in America. This is a veteran owned company. It's beardbqsauce.com. This is some awesome stuff guys. Again, you know I'm partial to veterans, so check them out. So we're gonna baste this right quick. He sent me this cool basting brush. And guys, he uh, hand makes this himself. This is not mass produced. He makes it himself. 
He is a great guy. So what we're going to do is just kind of base this on real good. This barbecue sauce is full of flavors, guys. So what we're going to do is let this set up about 30 minutes. Take it inside and give it a try. All right, here are our beautiful ribs, guys. They smell awesome. Let's cut into them. Let's see if we can see in there that juice. Got your little bit of smoke ring going on there. Let's cut up another one here. Let's try not to hit the bone this time. There we go. That cut through perfectly. Look at that juice. All right, we're going to give this a try. Look at that. It's got a nice bark on it. Beautiful piece of meat. We're going to give this a try. That is awesome, guys. It basically tastes like a steak to me. Um, with a little bit of hint of that barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce is supposed to be spicy. Um, but as Felix told me, it's not overpowering, guys. That is a wonderful, wonderful barbecue sauce. The seasoning from Pit Barrel Cookers is phenomenal. These two combinations together, guys, are great. I highly recommend this. They're super, super awesome. It's cooked perfectly. Again, I cooked it till it was about 175. Put the barbecue sauce on there. Left it on there for about 30 minutes, took it off, and I put some foil over it loosely and let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Pit Barrel Cooker did a great job on this. I cooked them about four hours, maybe a little bit less. BeerBQSauce.com, go there and check out my buddy Felix. Buy his products, you will not be sorry. Also, MatadorPrimeSteak.com some great products guys i highly recommend all three of those thank you guys so much i greatly appreciate you love you all and god bless